With modern DJ equipment and software, it's become pretty intuitive for DJs to mix two songs together. But there's more to mixing than just beat matching and transitioning. Today on DJ Essentials, we'll break down an important fundamental that most DJs follow when mixing two songs together, and that's mixing in key. Mixing in key or harmonic mixing is a DJ technique that allows for smooth transitions between songs that have complementary keys. Keys are basically the main pitches or notes that form the foundation of a song. The benefits of mixing in key is that we ensure our smooth transitions are harmonically sound. Now before we get into any mixing, let's talk about a tool DJs use to easily identify which keys are harmonic to each other, the Camelot wheel. On the Camelot wheel, each musical key is represented by a number and letter combination. These numbers and letters are placed in a circle like a clock. It might look complicated to read, but there's actually a beginner-friendly technique that we can use to simplify reading this wheel. It's called the T method. The T method is as follows. Find a key of a current song you are playing, and then place a T over top its place on the wheel. The areas the letter highlights are the keys that are harmonic to this key. In this case, that being the two adjacent keys, the harmonic major, and a song with an identical key. Now this is all great, but how do we find out the key of a song in the first place? That's where our DJ software comes in handy. By default, keys in DJ software may be displayed in their natural or classic way that being in notations like A flat minor or G major. To change this in Rekordbox DJ to display the Camelot notation, first open the settings panel and click on the view section. Scroll down until you find a setting labeled key display format and change it to alpha numeric. Now, whenever you load a song into one of the turntables in Rekordbox, it will analyze it and display the key and Camelot notation. So let's put this to practice and show you really what harmonic mixing is all about. So let's just break down a quick mix between two songs that have the same key to demonstrate how they will mix perfectly in harmony. So let's cue this song right here. And I already have a mixing point ready for this song. And you can hear they're already working really well together. Let's swap the bases. It works so well, it's almost like the song hasn't even changed. This is a loop here. What I've done is just loop the vocal here to prove a point that this vocal will continue to work with this song. So what that demonstrates is that mixing becomes a lot more easier when we have songs that are harmonic to each other. But what if we run into a situation where the next song we wanna mix in is not harmonic to the previous song? So in this scenario, our first track is still the same song as before, but our second track is at a key of 11A. So this is way off the mark in terms of our Camelot wheel. And we'll be able to see while we're mixing that something will just sound a little off. So just listen close here for a minute. So at first it sounds pretty okay actually. But right when we swap the basses here, something's just off. These two songs are just not melding together anymore. Especially here. So in a situation like this, what can we do to resolve this? There really is two main things you can do. The first is to try to find a different song that is more harmonic to the song you're trying to mix into. And the second is to use a feature called KeySync. What KeySync will do if I turn the feature on into Rekordbox, which can be found right above here where it tells you where your key is, is it will pitch the song either up or down to match the key or closely match it to another key that is harmonic to the key you're trying to mix into. In most cases, this is okay, 
if it changes it just one or two semitones, but anything more than that, it will drastically change the pitch of the song and in turn kind of ruin the sound of it. But in this case, we're fine. We're only pitching it down one semitone, so the mix should be pretty good. So let's try that same transition once again, but instead with key sync turned on for the second track. You can hear that the second track is pitched down slightly. And already it sounds much better. And we can do things now before that we couldn't, like loop the vocal here, and it will sound just fine. And that is a basic rundown of mixing in key. That's gonna do for this episode of DJ Essentials. And if you like what you see, comment down below any suggestions or questions you may have. I'm always happy to help. Next week, I'm gonna tie things all together in a short mix that will showcase all the techniques we've learned so far. Please like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And for DJ Essentials, I've been Zichan.